So I just discovered this insane AI workflow that combines the power of Notebook LM with the versatility of Canva. And this, I honestly think, is one of the most underutilized ways to make money with AI right now. Now, obviously, I can't promise that you're going to make any money with this. Starting an online business is definitely difficult, and even if you get everything right, there's still no guarantee of success. However, what I will do is show you this exact workflow, how to set it up step by step, and everything that you need to get started. So let's get into it. All right, so before I show you specifically how to make money with this, you really need to understand the basic framework first. Because once you get down how these two tools can work together, you can literally apply this to really any business idea. Like I'm gonna show you probably one or two examples in this video, but honestly, once you understand this workflow, you're gonna be able to come up with like 10 ideas all on your own. So make sure you pay attention to this part because this is really the foundation for everything else. So I'm here on Notebook LM, and this is completely free to use, by the way. You just go to notebooklm.google.com. And I like to sort of think of this as the brains of this entire workflow. So if you've never used this before, this is a really cool tool, it's very easy to use. I'll click here where it says Try Notebook LM, and this is made up of all of these notebooks, as they call them. And you can kind of think of notebooks as a place where you can gather a ton of different ideas, a ton of different resources from all over the web. So they have a really a lot of good examples up here, for instance. So we have trends in health and wealth. Let's take a look at this one. So what they've done is they've thrown in all these sources about health, wealth, and happiness around the world, and it consolidates all of that information. And now you can now chat with that information and be able to see the connections between all of the sources that you've used. Now, of course, a lot of people use this for a lot of personal stuff, like we see it being used to help people study or do research on things. Like I have one here that I wanna start doing some research on some new headphones I wanna purchase, but you can also use this to help you build an online business as well. So for example, let's say you wanna research the weighted blanket market. You can literally just grab competitor websites, throw in some industry reports, maybe some customer reviews, and put all of it into Notebook LM. And then you can ask it something like, are there any common complaints that people have about weighted blankets that they've tried in the past? And boom, it provides some incredible insights. For instance, it's telling me right now that a lot of people want to use weighted blankets, but they often feel overheated. So right away, we have a business idea right there. You could potentially make a product that somehow gives you the feeling of a weighted blanket, but somehow it doesn't get you overheated like a traditional weighted blanket. And this is a gap in the market that we were able to quickly identify thanks to Notebook LM. Now, that was just a simple example, and obviously that's a physical product which is very hard to manufacture and make. We're definitely going to dive into a more proven system in a moment, but we've only talked about half of this workflow so far. The other half of this is, of course, Canva. And if Notebook LM is like the brains, Canva is more like the hands. This is where we actually build stuff. We're gonna take all those insights and turn them into actual products that people will pay for. And the magic, the real magic, is when you combine these two. Because now, you're not just guessing what to make, you're using actual data and research to create exactly what the market wants. And I'm going to show you specifically how people are using this right now. Okay, so first thing I would do is head on over to Etsy.com and you just wanna type in here the word ebook. And what we wanna do is actually look for some popular eBooks that have a lot of reviews so we can get an idea of what people are actually purchasing. Now, there are paid tools that will do this for you. However, for purposes of this video, I want to show you the cheapest and easiest way to get started. So we're gonna stick with this free method. So specifically what you're looking for are not only popular eBooks, but ones that maybe don't have perfect reviews. And then you wanna see what it is that people are complaining about with those eBooks, so then we can make our own that fixes that problem. So let's take a few minutes looking around for something like that. So here, for instance, we see this one. This one only has three stars, but there's only two reviews, so it's not super popular. Let's see if we can find something, again, with more reviews, but maybe not a perfect score, maybe closer to four stars or lower. All right, so I think I found something good here. So I found this ebook that's selling for $80. It teaches people how to study for the Florida bar exam. And what's interesting about this one is that it has over 112 reviews, but only three out of five stars. So this one is perfect. It checks off 
all the boxes. So let's go ahead and start with this one. Next, I'm going to jump into Notebook LM to do all of my research. So I'll grab the URL from Etsy and plug it in as one of my sources. And then the key here is you wanna find some educational content. So maybe some PDF textbooks, you can find some YouTube videos as well, some articles, some different websites, plug all of it into Notebook LM. The more you have, the better, because then you'll be able to draw from all of that knowledge. Once we have all of that uploaded, now I can ask it the good questions. So I'll say, what do people not like about the bar exam study guides that already exist? And Notebook LM will then process all of that and spit out the insights. So it's telling me, for instance, that a lot of material in the Etsy guide is outdated or incorrect and it's not really comprehensive. So I'm gonna make sure that when I create my guide, it's going to be up to date and it is going to be comprehensive. And luckily using something like Notebook LM will make that very easy to do. So next I'm coming back in here to the chat and I'm asking it to create an outline for me for a study guide. I'm specifically telling it, hey, I wanna create my own study guide for the Florida bar exam, create an outline for me. And you can see it is now creating the entire outline for me. And this is something that I really like because it's perfect for eBooks because it gives you the section titles which are kind of like the different sections of the ebook. And then each of the bullet points in here can be a different subsection within the book. And this is fully comprehensive. It knows everything you need for the Florida bar exam and it's including all of it in here. From here, you can then jump over to Canva to actually begin to build out the ebook itself. So the first thing we wanna create is the cover for the ebook. So what I'll do is come over here to Canva, click on create on the top left, and then in here, I'll just search for ebook cover. Here it is right here. That will give us the proper dimensions for it. Now we have to start with the design. So over here on the left, you can choose whatever design sort of works for your niche. For something like the bar exam, I want something that's a little bit more serious, something that really looks like you're studying. This one right here looks pretty cool. I think this really fits it. Has a city in the background, kind of reminds you of like New York City where there's a lot of law firms, right? And of course you wanna change up this text. So let me do that real fast. There we go, perfect. So once you're happy with the cover page, what you can then do is add another page. Now you don't wanna just click here where it says add page because then it's gonna add another ebook cover. Instead, what you wanna do is click on this down arrow. And for this one, you wanna select where it says doc because this is where we'll actually start to paste in the information that we're gathering from Notebook LM. So I can just come over here and let's go ahead and call this one actually table of contents because that's essentially what Notebook LM created for us was a table of contents. And then I can change this back so it's on the left. And then I could just come over to Notebook LM and copy this and paste it over here into this document. And there we go. I changed it up, made it look a little bit nicer, but you can see right here that I have the table of contents and I have a nice overview section here and then the actual structure and subjects. And the way I got it to look so nice is I just clicked on the left here where it says designs and I found a document style that I liked which was this one right here. And then I was just able to change that up to make it look really pretty and really nice. So now if we look at all the pages here, we have the cover page right here, and then we have the actual content starting right here. And you just do that for every single page. Now you have a table of contents. Next thing I would do is start to fill this out. So the next page I would create is the introduction and general study philosophy. So I'd create a page for that and come over to Notebook LM and actually have it write all the content out for me and literally just copy and paste it into Canva as a new page. Once you have all the pages that you like, you can go ahead and download it. So I'll click on the top right here where it says share and then I'll click on download. And I wanna select here where it says PDF print and click on flatten PDF and make sure it's all of the pages and then click on download. Now, before we show you how to actually sell and market these eBooks, make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying this video so far and subscribe to the channel as well because I'm constantly making videos that teach you how to use AI to build an online business. And if you don't wanna miss out on any of those future videos, you do wanna be sure that you're actually subscribed.
Now we're gonna be selling our ebook today on Etsy, but I've seen people sell ebooks on Amazon, on eBay, on Gumroad. So there's lots of different choices. I think Etsy is just very accessible to a lot of people and a really easy place to get started. So once you have your Etsy account set up, come to the homepage, click on the top right here where it says shop manager. Then you wanna click on the left here where it says listings and go ahead and click on add a listing. Now, first thing you have to put in here is the category. So if you type in here, study guide, there are a few different choices here. It actually doesn't matter all that much. I've seen very successful study guides in all of these categories, but the one that I'm going to choose is this one right here that says guides and how to's, and then I'll click on continue. Now over here, we have to choose between a physical item or a digital file. Obviously this one is a digital file, so I'll select that one. I'll say that I made it and it is a finished product. I'll also say that I made it this year and it was created by me and then click on continue. Next up, we have to come up with a title for our listing. Now I like to start with the title that we saw is already doing well for someone else and improving it. So this is a Florida bar exam, all multiple choice topics. That's an okay title. I think it could be better. So I'm just going to come in here, start with that and edit it. So it says Florida bar exam. I'll get rid of that study guide and then do 2025 version so that people do know that it's up to date. So there we go. And then we can begin to upload photos and videos if we want. So what do we do for this? Well, this is another place where Canva can really come in handy. So let's come back to Canva. And this time I'm going to click on Canva AI and I'm going to ask it to create a mock-up of the cover for an ebook that is a Florida bar exam study guide. And I'm telling it that I'm specifically going to use this for an Etsy product listing page. And I'll click here where it says create an image and click on submit. So here we go, we have a few choices right here. I like this one, it's nice and simple. So I can go ahead and open this up in the editor if I wanted to make any changes. Like I would definitely change up the words because a lot of them are just a bunch of garbly gook. But I spent a few minutes doing that, that's very easy because if you click on the image and click on edit, you can actually use this tool right here that's called grab text. They'll actually grab all of the text on the page and allow you to edit it very easily. So I can click on this one and just click on grab and then change this text to whatever I want. Now, assuming that's all done and I want that the way that it is, I'll click on share and actually download a copy of this mockup and then return back here to Etsy and let's go ahead and upload that image. There we go. And if you wanted to, you could do a lot of other images in here as well. And I do suggest that you do that. So you can actually add images of the actual ebook, maybe blur out some stuff or just show one page of it. One page of it isn't going to uh, cause people not to purchase it. It's not enough information on one page. So you definitely wanna upload a couple of the pages so people get an idea of what it looks like, as well as maybe one or two other mockups. But here is the thumbnail right here of what it will look like. And then you can actually upload the file. So let me go ahead and do that. And this is what will be delivered to them after they actually purchase it. All right, so there it is. And now we have to create a description for this listing. So we can actually use Canva for that as well. So returning back here to Canva AI, let's go ahead and close this. And I will uncheck where it says create an image. And instead I'll click on create or draft a doc. And I'm going to ask it to create a description for an Etsy listing that is a Florida bar exam study guide. And I'm saying, hey, I want this to actually explain what the study guide is. And I also want to, to actually encourage people to actually purchase the ebook from me. All right, so here is the sales copy right here. If I'm happy with this, I can just go ahead and copy this, come back over here to Etsy and paste that in and just clean it up if we wanted to, like the bullet points kind of got messed up. So let me go ahead and fix that. And then if I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and set the price. Now for the price, I'm just gonna copy what the other person did. It's working for them. So I'm just gonna use that price just a little bit lower. Once I get sales, I can increase the price. So they're selling theirs for $80. So I'm gonna make mine maybe $65 to start. And I'll put in here as the quantity because there's an unlimited number of these. I'm just gonna put in here 100 of them. And then with all of that in place, you are actually done. There's nothing else you have to do. There's a few other things down here, like these different details and other things that you don't need to fill in. 
We're not gonna do returns or exchanges or anything like that. So you can leave all of this the way that it is, and then go ahead and click on publish. And then that will be live on Etsy, ready for people to purchase it. So there you have it. There's a simple way to use Notebook LM with Canva in a very powerful workflow. Now, if you wanna learn more about AI tools that can help you build an online business, you should definitely watch this video right here I made about the best ways to use Canva AI to build an online business. So you can find it by clicking right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.